Okay, sorry for the late start to the meeting. We've got some technical in issues, um, but I think we're fixed and good now. Thanks everybody for helping that and going underneath televisions and everything else. <laughs> so <laughs> let's call the meeting to order with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for everyone. Okay, um, I believe we're going to be, uh, someone's going to be motioning for entering into a brief executive session. Second. Um, can we explain what the executive session is for? To discuss the employment, employment history of a particular individual uh, pertaining to the town manager search. And who would you like to be in the room during the executive session? Um, the search committee members. So, Jess and Dr. Cullen, <laughs> you're She's relieved. Temporarily excused. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Can I get um, all in favor of entering executive session? Aye. 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 Okay. So, yes. you don't mind. Okay, we're done with our executive session. So, on to the regular. Business of the Finance Committee. Um, does, did everybody get a chance to look at the minutes from the last meeting? Yep. Thanks for putting it together, Jess, as always. Um, any comments or corrections? Motion to approve the minutes as submitted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have a note relative to the agenda. Um, Never mind. I, I think I answered my own question. Never mind. Okay. We don't have anybody online, right? Yeah. So I do have a question. Okay. The meeting minutes and the agenda, they only list Adeline, Dave Sauter, and Jessica Mull as the finance committee. Is that true? Three people? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And we're comfortable to get a community member. We're comfortable with that. No, I'm definitely not comfortable with we, that. I think we don't have enough people on any of our committees. Yeah, I don't mean to sidetrack the meeting, but I just noticed it on both the agenda and the meeting minutes, and it just strikes me as being a concern. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it before. We've talked many times about having the entire town board be members of all of the town board committees. We just haven't ever done a reso or anything to do that. So. So we, we would need to have a reso or a policy or procedure change that that should, finance BBW ordinance and we do that? economic development. I'm, I'm not saying no to that, but I think we want at least one community member. I agree. We want every community single so board or committee to I, I, I think I brought it up before. The reason right. we the, the one that I was working on was unavailable for this time. So um, if we move the time, they would be available. So, but well, did we put that on other interests. Have we put that on our uh, website or Facebook page or anything that we That's need a member? Thinking. Yeah, we do periodic. We do put out requests. We have not put one out for a while. We could list everything. So that's another option. We will have as as we're Sue's working on um, setting up our communication app. That's the type of thing that we could roll into that, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't be opposed to a Mailchimp going out. People aren't going to respond if you put it on Facebook. People yeah, aren't going right. to respond if you put it on the web page. <laughs> but let's figure the, out where we have openings in all the committees. Right. So to that, how many people would you? How many non? How many people do you want a committee? Would you want one or two community members on finances? As an example, you, you generally want to make sure that you have an odd number of right. committee right. members. Right. So um, if we had five town board members we would ideally want well i think jessica's or Jessica, so either one or three for four because we want to keep it an odd number so that there's no we'd have to votes. decide on the terms on that and everything the term of the offer you know the but i don't know do we do that with the ppw guys <laughs> you know, it's an annual appointment yeah. it's I mean, just making it an annual to... that's easy it's yeah. just a january to january appointment yeah. I think I think that's fine personally. I mean, I don't. Yeah. And and I mean, it's more who approaches you. You like. I mean, you can find I don't think there's a great competition out there for right. people being like, "Yay, I want to be on the town finance committee." Right. You know, like it's not, <laughs> we're not would, swimming in the people. Would so. people be opposed to changing the times? That's the other question. Would they be in favor of it if it brought more public? So evening or earlier? It was. 
I think he was looking for like four o'clock or, or, you know, something like three or four something in the afternoon. And that would, it was Chris Hubler right. is who it was. And that would push flex time. I mean, that would mean later start or flexible time. We'd have to work with that, those schedules, but those aren't big hangups. We're pretty, we've been pretty flexible. With, you know, we're much more flexible now than we would have been years ago. We're able to have that flex. We had to check the room availability right. and all that sort of stuff too. So. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll talk to Chris again. I'll see him again today for Rotary. So. Okay. Um, and then to your point, John, I did hear from, I, I got a message from one of our, one of our staff members asking about the committee specifically um, asking about, you know, use public works as an, not public works, but ordinance as an example, saying, you know, the town boards, it's the town board at the meeting, mm -hmm. having a lot of the discussion, shouldn't there be more outside voices mm -hmm. in on it? And I, I agreed hundred percent, but That's also, an ordinance. yeah, but also the town, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, we end up voting on this, on things so we can tweak and change how we want. The question is, do we want all of us? Do we want then it would be more like a committee of the whole where everybody, every board member sits on every committee. That I would have. rather see, I would personally would rather see non board members on committees with four, you know, however many board members you want to have on committees, but spread that out to get different opinions and mm -hmm. everything. Because I mean, at the end of the day, we get to have what we're going to say what we want to say. It, yeah, it's not vital that we have board membership on every right. committee because everything the committees do is get sent to the town board and we all vote on it there but it is i mean the board participation is really important valuable because... input is decided in these committees which yeah. is nice but i've heard the criticism as well that all you do all you do is say yes to everything or the board but yeah because we've because already, we already it. figured we already, it out oh, in the committee it's already been yeah. out which the public doesn't fully understand and and of course it's still a public meeting yeah. so it's not... well and i mean but even very experienced public like you know, Oksana or Marion, they're they aren't necessarily aware of all the things that we do in ordinance or in the finance committee. Right. I mean, I didn't learn what the finance committee was doing until I started running for the town board. And that's when I was like, oh wait, I gotta go hang out in these finance committee meetings. That's when they're going over everything. So, yeah. so that I don't think that that's abundantly clear to the public that that our deep dis <laughs> deep dives and discussions on the issues are happening in these committee meetings, not at the main town board public meeting then do those need to be adjusted the times i i mean i know the city has their committee meetings in the evenings right well, do we want to go down that road yeah. i'm not throwing it out for an answer right I now think it, well, i was gonna say i think it's something we should probably think about and decide at our org meeting in january because well, it's, it's what kind of impact would that meeting. have on us with bringing people in we had to pay over time for no, it just or flex time or you just flex time you take, you know, you don't come in until two. But not all the employees are available. Three to um, eight p.m. Right. So yeah, they so they have the, their committee meetings during the day. Yeah, county meet, committee meetings are ten, one, and three. Board meetings are in the evenings. Committee meetings are. I mean, we have most of the committee meetings. We have department heads presenting to us, presenting their resolutions to us. So we do have a lot of discussion at those. We don't have much public. Um, I was actually talking to Ian about this yesterday, whatever day we were with him. What day is that? Monday. Yeah. Um, because in, in in his county, they have their actual board meetings during the day, mm -hmm. like at 1 30. I'm like, how do you get away with that? You know, how did you yeah. get lucky with that? You don't have to go back in for any evenings. They did it, they tried it in the evenings, they switched it for a year, and nobody came to the meetings. Mm -hmm. So then they moved it back to 1.30 and nobody came to the meetings. So, I mean, it's a good point. Yeah. I mean, my son wants to come to the next ordinance committee meeting and he can't because he can't Zoom from work. He's got a business meeting at 9 right. o'clock in the that, morning. That's the and only challenge. Can't. And again, what's the benefit cost? How many more people are you bringing? You know what I mean? How many more people yeah, are you I, bringing if you try to make it at a more convenient time? Well, we have our board meeting in the evening unless there's some really hot button issue. There's the same four people the same two yeah. people. Yeah. I I don't think having them in the evening is I don't think it's gonna any benefit. benefit. Yeah. We, well we, but think about the Zoom though. The town board meetings, we get sometimes we get 30 people on that Zoom. Zooming, like yeah. zooming, we get a lot of zoomers in the evening meetings. There's no one in a football. 
Well, but I just want to put it in the middle. It's, it's, also, true. Yeah. it's also less, I mean, it's kind of scary to come in here with the big scary board that we are and, and present in person. Like it's, no, it's, I mean, if you don't, if this is not something you're comfortable with, there's a lot of people that are, that are people intimidated have say that are old. They have 60 inch TV sets that are old. I don't no, think it's no, I, I mean, the, No, the like, Zoom is not intimidating. I mean, coming in come in person is intimidating. The board, but so. I, I think we'll see what you look at that conversation you opened up. <laughs> Say what you've done. I know. Well, well it's something we have to look at. We have to look at. So we'll put out a mail for looking for community. Looking for right. people. I would prefer if we make a sea change on yep. timing of these things and, and we that we think about it for a process I mean, procedure. We brought in year, so. we brought in 20 people with the email for the citizens committee, yep. the CAP. So we'll People put up we'll put out an email. That we are looking for members of town committees. We'll just list the committees. Were any of those people interested in any other than the PDP? Um, we, well, we had twenty. Just... We had twenty at the big at, who responded, and of those twenty, we have like seven, and that filled the whole committee. We had to find one more to fill the whole committee. So I would say we didn't see all twenty at the actual meeting. Twenty people responded to the email okay, and said, okay. "Yes, I'm interested." Okay, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna type. Let's move on. I'll send an email and we'll see what goes on. I'll move we'll in. We'll email. All right, review the financial reports. Any questions on the financial reports that were attached? I will apologize. My email has been fun, so I haven't reviewed everything to the level that I normally review it because I just was able to get to about ten minutes before the meeting. <laughs> so, so any questions on the financial report? Mm -hmm. Anything? I'll look at them more in depth before we get to the actual town board meeting. So. Okay. Anything that needed explaining at all, Jess? I don't believe so. Okay, cool. All right. Um, the resolutions, the finance related resolutions, we've got, um, oh, they don't have numbers yet. So, so the first one is for, um, it's regarding H35. It's $125,000 that was in H35. Um, and let's see, it's the street lighting one. So, so yeah, the um there there's over just over a hundred thousand dollars remaining in H35 that used to be the well, the uptown the Canadawa infrastructure um project. Um really all that that was put towards was some engineering costs for I think it was like water, some sort of water um Infrastructure costs. Yep. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering, they were looking to see what needed to be done there. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, and so uh, we are looking at this, uh, the lights on Route 332. Um, from the PPW, it looked like the suggestion was possibly to create a capital project, but we really don't need to create a capital project for that. Um, mm -hmm. we, we can, um, there is an account line that we can use for um, capital equipment related to street lights. So instead of creating another capital project, I would suggest just rolling those funds into that line, the street lighting capital improvement. In that, That's what happens when you try and spend money. When you I can't, I can't pull up any of this right now. So my internet kind of died. Okay, so I'm trying to. So, but you, but what you're saying is so, um, that resolution reflects that. So this resolution, yes, it, it reflects the portion that goes to street lighting um, from the old uptown Kennedy. It says for capital project. Okay. The PPW and finance recommend that the H thirty five project uh, be closed and the remaining funds be transferred to the AA one hundred line street lighting for capital equipment okay. for the installation of the lights on three thirty two. Excellent. So it's. It's a hundred thousand and change going into the street lighting. Anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So we're everything good with that one. The next one is uh more complicated. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not really, it's the um the town hall renovation one. So Oh, this one, this one actually, it's a, an authorization to allocate unassigned fund balance. So what I did is, um, what we've done in previous years, it, it looks like 
we um I'm trying to share my screen. Oh, so this is okay. Open, open, open a Word document. This is the street lighting and the town hall renovation. So, so this is a, um a lump sum um unassigned fund balance um resolution. Do everything. Yeah. So based on the uh the recommendations from the planning public works um this is where I just took the lump sum and and you know showed where all the different allocations so so yeah it's unassigned fund going uh seven hundred thousand in the street lighting for the 332 street lights which 150 into contractual for highway and seven hundred thousand general pairs contractual and that's salt for highway. Yeah. That's yeah. the mm -hmm. yeah so, and the 700 was for the street lights right? yeah right. which I, I almost feel like Jim had said that they that was going to be significantly lower than he had. The street lights are a lot lower. Lights are, which is great because um, when we get on to the next um, resolution. Oh, hang on, before you move on to that. Yeah. Why is 700 in your choice? What am I missing? One was street lights. Okay. So street lights. So, okay, if you look in the decrease, that's the unassigned fund balance. And yeah. then the first line set is the street lighting. Oh, that's paving. The it's the paving. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, the next paper. one, the one that just says inner fund transfer, mm -hmm. that is to the town hall renovations, um, capital project H42. Um, then there'll be 150,000 that goes to the highway contraction, buildings, highway contractual line. That's for the salt bar. Mm -hmm. And then the next one that says um, inner fund transfer, that's for um, project 37, which is the fire station HVAC improvements. For a hundred thousand, and then the last line is for highway general repair. Thank you uh, for paving. Sorry, I, like I said, oh, I can usually I've read them really well this time. It's fine. I just got them out. So, so is that what everybody understood we were doing from our finance and PPWs? We talked about this. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So. All right. The next one is the the DOT Bridge New York program one. Um, so in this one, um, it just describes that we were receiving a grant. In addition to the grant funds, we were going to use um, four hundred thousand from the um, highway road improvement um, capital project H thirty nine. Um, Two hundred and fifty thousand from the um, highway improvement reserve fund, which is um, we do have to do a permissive referendum, I believe, to spend any of that money. So we'll have to. I think that that is also noted in here. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then two hundred fifty thousand from unassigned fund balance. So uh, during our audit. Um, that we're still working on. Um, it was noted that the numbers that I had initially um, stated for the capital project for the H39, which was the um, highway road improvement, um, I, I had pulled up numbers from the project account and not the cash account. And there was some expenditures that didn't get posted to the project. So that number is actually really in that age 39 there's only like fifty eight thousand dollars not four um so we guess we have to discuss where um where we're gonna make that up so it's, we'd like to use additional on fund balance three hundred essentially I think that's part of the discussion we had when John recommended that we don't use the full four hundred mm -hmm. and we hold some back yeah I think that's a perfect example. No, oh, there's about four fifty, was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we we haven't allocated the entire amount that we agreed to allocate. We were holding some back to see how things go. We've discovered that discrepancy. How much was that discrepancy? Yeah. There is a there is about three hundred thousand that didn't get <clears throat> noted in the. It's it, the cash. When I pulled up the report, I should have pulled up the cash account amount and not. The project reporting. So yeah. let me ask a question a different way. Sure. How much are we short? Three hundred fifty. Good thing we held that money, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
kind of like I've done this before once or twice, huh? <laughs> what come up short, you mean? Yeah, that too. Yeah, over budget. Never. I don't believe you. Don't believe you. Bet you move money around. That's why. Yeah. I I would suggest that. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. just um, move it from the unassigned fund balance to make that decision whole, and then we still have a hundred and some left mm -hmm. for anything else that might come up along the way. We can do that. So I will have to adjust um, both this resolution to reflect that um, because I, I didn't even know I don't the actual transaction and um, the financial software, what that would look like. And then I'll adjust the other resolution as well because I believe it was in there too. Would you mind? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Um, well, I'm just thinking here. PPW's tomorrow, right? No. No. It was last oh, Friday. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Is it possible to hold this and come up with maybe a spreadsheet that just shows where the shortfall is and where we are at? Because just hearing it, listening to it, I don't quite have my arms around it. But there's not really a shortfall. It was just from those reports that she gave us that we were working off of. It's just where it's coming from. It's yeah. not, the money's still there. It's just not coming from the same place that we thought it was coming from. So, but That's what I'd like to see. I, I'd still like these resolutions to go forward to Mondays, to not Monday, that could but come up. We've got a week. Meeting. We've got a week. That could come out in a email. That's fine. Okay. That'd be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have it in front and can ask any questions. At right. The, That's okay. At the agenda, at the agenda review meeting, too. That's their yeah. state, right? Yeah. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, we can when, do it then. Yeah. when is the agenda meeting? Thursday at what time? After um, next Thursday, 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 right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So the corrected resolution after LDC and LDC, submitted yeah, for after LDC. the comp. So yeah. you, you guys will see the Thursday. amended resolutions, obviously, prior to the board meeting. Yeah, yeah. but I'd like to see. Um, maybe a spreadsheet or something. It just kind of shows where the money was and where it's going to. That would be helpful for me. Thank you. I mean, that could even be a screenshot. <laughs> like I just put it on a piece of paper. Yeah, like that would be perfect. <laughs> just like yeah. that. We had, and these are all the things yeah. we've decided to spend on. So I could, or even, I thought someone's going to ask even me. That or a, <laughs> even that or a screenshot of the accounting pages, whatever, just to... Yeah, that's all. Not nothing fancy. Just even your handwritten notes. I'm okay with that. Okay. I don't need to... formality. Okay. I just kind of like understanding. That's all. Yep. I'm a visual person too. Yeah. Okay. So um, the next thing that I had on the agenda, um, Terry, I was thrilled that you and I went to the same hey. training session. I'm like, look at that. I didn't even know you were in there. Um, well, of, I would have been my help. You know, I know. They didn't, they didn't show the faces on the screen or anything like that. So but they must have been thrilled that they had two candidate with town board members in their, in their comptroller training. So, um, but I don't know what you got out of that. Um, but the, the thing that I got about it is making sure that we like that. I would like to set up our new town manager well with information to help us with this long term capital planning. Um, and multi-year financial planning. And the first thing that needed to be done was a capital inventory, which I think we have yeah. done sort of, but I'd like to see if there's ways that we can uh, sort of task all of the, the department heads with making sure that this is updated and ready to go so that we can really have that be an earlier project for the town manager. It's pretty good call. I mean, yeah. we had... Was it the insurance company? Or yeah, that was. They were saying they sure. recommended starting with the insurance company, but who was that that I talked to? Was it you, Lindsay, or you, Jessica? One of you. It was you, Jessica, that said that we do have within some of it. Within Encode, there is a we have a fixed asset module that we yeah. that we keep everything. And our buildings are in there because we never used to Building include code. things like the roads, the yeah, the roadways, water up. lines, all that stuff. But when we added that all together, our what we thought our asset base was was yeah mm -hmm. I mean, multiple, but 
you know. Right. Yeah. yeah so this, that was a few, uh, a couple yeah, maybe years. 21, ago. I think, is what Kate had said, 20 okay. or 21, that they they really started to add those things in. Yeah. Every, yeah. So it's what's happened things. since then, though? Exactly. That's what I'm like. Oh, well, I, I, myself and the clerk's office um, are tasked with um, updating that information yearly. And we do have to pass that along to the controller as part of our, oh, good. Oh, good. our audit. Oh, yeah. And then our third, our, our auditors um, also review that information. And I believe one of their recommendations last year, um, it may not have been as compensatory as like they would have liked to see. Um, and so um, that was something that as time allows, they suggested that we um, definitely fine tune um, yeah. our, our fixed assets. So you, but it's definitely- We added in things like motion junction, mm -hmm. civilian and all. Yeah. So yeah. All okay. I've asked- Great. Um, Good. I asked Michelle to do an assessment on motion to appraise motion yeah. junction. Okay, good. To add that, because we took that off of our construction insurance policy and now we're moving it into an asset. So she needs to, and she was going to reach out to you for some details, but I've asked her to assess it, put a value on it so we can put, we can dump it in there. Has that been transferred to us yet? I have not seen anything. Does yes. there need to be a formal transfer mm -hmm. to us? Yeah. Do I mean, we, I think we, we own we've always owned the ground. Oh, well, we've always owned. Yeah. Anything that's built on our property it becomes ours. Become do we ours? need okay. do we need a written I think I would put something in writing. Anything. Just because it's been so funky. I think we need to consult Nambler on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, and it's so funky though that I'm like, I would see nothing complicated necessarily, but I think. Something indicated unusual things have gone on. Yeah, <laughs> and something I thought, indicates who's uh, in charge of all the future maintenance and who's in charge of yeah. you know. Yeah, no, I know, but just something in writing that says town will provide all the maintenance. Town will make future decisions on you know in let, whatever let, it is. So. Chris Nadler, I'm sure, can put together uh, something that will summarize all that. But mm -hmm. I think Mike Bentley was expecting something also based on. The meetings that we had with him, that there was kind of going to be a transfer, like a big key key handoff, like yeah, a, like, like a, a, on Saturday. We we did, and then we <laughs> hugged like ten <laughs> times on Saturday. Uh, he's yeah. like, it's yours. So yes, he doesn't. I said, thank you. Happily <laughs> yeah. take that off of his. So like that yet? Is a hug? <laughs> I mean, is a hug a binding contract? <laughs> yeah. A man hug, a hug and a slap on the back. Handshake. Yeah. We handshake. In some cir in hug. some circles, it is, but <laughs> I don't know about. Yeah, I don't think it's not a big deal, but just has another together. thing occurred to me that we don't actually own the lakeside of Onanda. The state still does it. I transfer was yep. supposed to happen years ago. It cleared the legislature. Right. And DEC did never right, actually. Yep. So right now I've reached out to I've reached out the, to the DEC multiple times, heard nothing back. I've had several conversations with the governor's representative for the Finger Lakes. She, the last she said was it's in the attorney general's office waiting for just the final approval. About every two weeks, I reach out to her and I ask her. Why don't, we start, why don't so, we start a case with Pam and Jeff um, asking them to send a formal notice again, mm -hmm. because I think it's been long enough to do that. Um, and yeah. I think you also might want to touch base with, believe it or not, Tim Schneider. Um, who worked for the DEC for 30 years um, and might have some thoughts on how to best go through that. I don't know, it's just a thought. But. So if, if, are they included in our asset base though? Do we carry insurance on the buildings on the lakeside? The lakeside buildings? Yeah, we, we must. Yeah. So we have it insured, we just don't own it, but we own the. would that give an insurance company a blue way to say, sorry, that thing burned down, but uh, now you don't really own it. I don't know. I, yeah, it's yeah. another Nadler question. How do you? Yeah. We're, yeah, I, I mean, don't think so because Pine Bank is insured under our policy and we don't own that. Yeah. And I had talked to Hubler about that and he said it was covered. He, he sent me an email and I can't remember all of the verbiage, but he said it was included in all the town owned property. Because it was a cemetery that we would eventually manage. I don't know. Well, we give them about five or ten a year to stave that off. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I would say that Onanda's in the same. I'll ask. I'll ask him, and I'll reach out again. But it's on. And I've 
said, wouldn't it be great to be able to get the governor here for a beautiful Canada Day summer day to, wouldn't that be great publicity for her to come in and do a, an official handoff? Let her stay in Albany. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, I, was trying to get, I was trying to push it along to get her to move. We definitely yeah. want to make her look good. I think right. we, we should get a fish that she can gut at the fish dock right there. That's the DEC dock as part of it. I think that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was trying to the end of the deck. Oops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fish. I think it'd be great. Anyway, we're so, recording. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, that's right. I yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, all right. So so it sounds like then we're already kind of doing the capital inventory and that everybody's comfortable that we're, so this is from the from the comptroller, it's indicating we need an inventory of the utility and sanitation assets, including sewer, water, solid waste, municipal electric and lighting, highways, roads and bridges, public buildings, equipment, vehicles, and furnishings. I don't know if we do anything about that. Land or rights to land, mm -hmm. and certain improvements to land other than bridges. So you yeah. and Crystalline are confident that we have that in an updated format right now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's great. So then that will help us get started with the multi-year financial planning. So, which I forget what I was going to actually talk about with multi-year financial planning. So that's the next agenda item. Uh, we had this all organized that, last week. Just that, you know, we <laughs> needed to make sure that we had it. Yeah. Um, which, you know, I was looking through uh, the town manager's financial order. And I mean, we do, I know we can do this, um, but it, it's, you know, we. <clears throat> <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, there is a spreadsheet <laughs> that we will never see again. <laughs> uh, that um, you can't sign in. I, if I could remember my password, probably. No. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, there is. Uh, it shows. Can you sign in using mine? Let me just try. It's nothing there. Oh, of course, because I'm gotta love tax. While well, you're figuring that out, can I bring up a finance resolution um, that you guys will see on the June 24th meeting regarding the Onondo sending bids that I have received? Sure. Just wanted to quickly talk about it. So um, we received two bids for the four roof replacements at Onanda that were in our budget. Um, they came in higher than what was budgeted for, so I just wanted to bring that to the attention um, today. So I will be writing a resolution. Um, it's around $32,000 over what was budgeted. They all came in like that? Well, total. Like, the total how amount of How many four, bids did we get? Two. Two bids. And the other one was 50000 more than the lowest. Okay, so the lowest one was... was 32000 over. Ignore my tax chest. Okay. Um, architectural sheet metal and Titan. Okay. What is the total then? Uh, 150528 was the lowest bidder. We had budgeted 118000 I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I have enough money in my account lines to cover that because some of my projects did come under this year. So at this point in time, I do not foresee us needing a budget transfer, but I will be referencing that in the resolution. Thank you, Jess, for helping with that verbiage. Um, in case towards the end of the year, some unexpected expense does come up, that would be why. Okay. That's it. Is that just the cost of matter, you think? What's the, why, why is that so much different? I mean, and, it's an estimate. So with the budget, the it's an estimate. Roughly, yeah, 200,000. For how many rooms? Four. And you did say that the the previous uh, company that provided those services did not bid. They did not bid this year. And so it's, it's not, not even really like apples to apples. Is it the motion junction? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, People are busy. And then yeah. uh, which buildings is it? It is uh, Wayside, the Maintenance Garage, Hayawantha, and Little House. All roofs that are in desperate need of replacing. Okay. okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, everything's just going up to yeah. I'm glad we got a couple bits on it. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so 
Jackson. So I did find this uh, capital plan. It, it just kind of talks. I, I think what the plan here was is it was it was in an effort to you know, budget certain amounts per year to kind of keep up on certain expenses and equipment. Um, based on like the length of life of certain systems so i mean i think for the multi-year financial planning we actually should probably we talk about involving citizens this is something where i could see there being just like we would for like the comp plan having a citizens committee helping and reviewing with staff and some town board members on this as well because you know just there's just certain things like for example station two it's ridiculous that over the years we have been saving whatever 10, 12,000 a year or something towards the repairs that were going to be needed for station two. And we should be starting that up again right now so that in 20 years when everything needs to be fixed there again, it's ready to go and funded. Same thing with this building. Most of these assets, you know, we should we should have a clear funding pattern for how we plan to replace and repair existing assets at the bare minimum. Right. We need to, that's what we need to figure out. So, but I mean, I mean we, we have some, there. yeah. I mean, like, that's like the, that's why we're spending the building reserves and all this stuff. So, but it's, I mean, we're talking about spending a lot of money on some, some needed repairs. I mean, just look at this building alone. We need to obviously immediately begin funding that again, because 20, 25 years from now, the bathrooms are going to look like hell again, you know? So that's whatever it may be. We'll have to replace the roof, blah, blah, blah. So. So that's the sort of stuff that I feel like there, there, there at least are some holes. I mean, station two was an obvious hole in that because that that should never that should never have happened the way that, that happened to station two. So, so we need to that's why I was saying that asset inventory, each one of those assets needs to be identified and and funded for the future. So so um when we're talking about advertising for groups, we can advertise for a multi-year financial planning steering committee, maybe. That would come out of the CAP. I mean, that would, yeah. I don't, I wouldn't advertise for another. Not yet, but. I, I wouldn't advertise for another group, but that would be a task of that citizens group. Are they meeting actively at this point now, the CAP? Okay. There'll be a resolution to approve the members on the agenda the 24th. <laughs> With bios, we all could, the members. Perhaps we could also start them by inviting all of them to our, you know, ordinance, PPW, and finance committee meetings. Um, so that'll that they be, can get that'll a, broken down. That was part of the charge to kind of know what's going on with the town. Okay, good. Well, I, I think, you know, one of the first tasks we should have the new town manager working on is multi-year financial planning. It hasn't, I haven't seen, I've been on the board for two and a half years and I haven't really had a, Meeting. I've been the finance chair for that time, and I haven't had a meeting regarding multi-year finance appointments. I've been here, so it's it's really, really important for our town, um, especially with the growth that we've got coming in and all of the demands for service and everything else. So, I I just I think we need more than just the five of us sitting in a room and figuring out how to spend funds, you know, off of our understanding of everything. Anyway. That's that. Um, we also, I have put on here, bringing up the budget schedule. Jared, did you want to talk a little bit about how those budgeting, how you intend those budgeting meetings to work? Uh, we've already sent that out. That hasn't been sent out officially. Everybody's seen the draft. Um, <clears throat> and that draft will not change from the other one. Yeah. Um, they will set up how they have done before. There will be a Zoom option. All board members are invited to attend. Uh, public's invited to attend. We'll have them in here or upstairs, depending on room availability. Um, are there any that you think are more important to be at than others for board members' purposes? Or I mean, not that I can not that I can think of. I mean, I learned a lot from the judges always, last year because we don't really work with them that yeah. much. But oh, sorry, I mean, parks is always parks is always interesting. That's where, and then. You know, if you really want to see where our money goes, highway. Mm -hmm. yep. Those are really important. I mean, they're all to say one is which one's more important is like picking your favorite child. 
Which one's your favorite? <laughs> it depends on the day. Sometimes I have a favorite, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I yesterday have, it was Jim. Sometimes I have my ball. four feet of sidewalk. So <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we already kind of went over the finance related resolutions, unless there's anything else from either of you two. No. Okay. Then our next finance committee meeting is gonna be July eleventh. Oh, can I one thing I forgot? Yes. There will be an, a resolution for the thirty-six thousand dollars to the county for the Route 6364 oh, sidewalk. We approved it a couple of years ago. Uh, it was a grant that the county applied for with grant money, with money from the college, money from the county. Our share is thirty-six thousand dollars because of all our share is. because good. of the where it goes through the town. It's a benefit because most of it goes through the town. So, How far is it going from where to where? I don't have that in front of me. It will help connect that yeah. 364 down through into the college yeah. area. Where are we getting that from? I've got to go back and look at it. Excuse me, all. See you, John. Have a great John. Yeah, day. John. I've got to look back to see if the original resolution specified. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. um, if not, okay. we go down just to the big parking lot or I'm yeah, I'm sure it goes either. down there. Yeah. Although, didn't we ask um, whatever Sunset Ridge is called these days? Didn't we ask them to put it in front of their property as they well? To connect Pretty sure separate. This is totally separate. Don't yeah. pay that. Yeah. No, no, no. I know, but I, yeah. I feel like that. So I'm just saying, visually, I think it will go at least to. Well, I don't know if, if it goes to the Sunset Ridge property or not, but but. It was a long time ago, but yeah. Yeah, that was a while ago. So. Mm -hmm. so anyway, that's awesome. Are they, when are they anticipating construction? They're just finalizing the bid project now. So next year. my guess would be next year, maybe. And roundabout not on 32, not starting this year? No. Next year? no. Okay. Surveyed all of them. Yeah, they survey. They got stakes all pounded in. Yeah, they will, yeah. but that takes for that takes I mean, a year, at least a year out with the survey and the engineering, and then they've actually got a site measure their conceptual versus reality, and then draw it up and then do your schedule. I mean, that's a several million dollar project. Yeah. Just to move some dirt and put a hole in a circle on the road. You got to figure out where to put all those blocks for that retaining wall on the other side. That was the other discussion of what to do about that. That wall will be. How close will it come to the. It'll be thing. pretty close. It'll be incorporated. The whole, the thought. One of the companies, the, old, the one that we're going with, is the only one that addressed the wall. And that's going to have to be redone. Or even they talked about grading it. So instead yeah, of a wall, the site is instead of a wall, top. things are raised up. So now you yeah. have a gentle grade up there. So instead of a wall, you could have a grade with rocks and with um, ground cover. So you don't have that. So yeah, I don't. It'll be interesting because what they draw up and present is never what the final thing really is. But we'll see. You see we, a lot of comments and uh, hang on real quick. I'd like to make a motion to, egg, to end the finance committee meeting. Can I get so a second? Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sorry. Go ahead. Go on. <laughs> we see all these comments, you know, I can't do with